Hey everyone, John here from Forward Brewers and I'm back with another beer from my cellar. Uh, today we're going to the brewery um, and this might be a common theme in the next few episodes of uh, 4B Quickies um, because I have a lot of brewery beer and I just got four more cases from my recent pickup from the Reserve Society from 2016 and a little bit of 2017. And I wanna really get through it, but I want to also utilize it for the channel. So that being said, today we are going to drink Sour in the Rye with Kumquats. This is the brewery's uh, sour ale made with kumquats and tangerine zest. Um, it is 7.2% alcohol, and this is 2016's version. Uh, and this was bottled, it looks like, November of 2016. So it's not super fresh, but it's not super old either, which is good because stuff with fruit, you generally want to drink fresh. You don't want to cellar it, hence why I'm drinking this beer right now. So let's open it up and see what it's like. Oh man, that smells really good. So what I was expecting to have this really uh, tart acidic nose is not that at all. There's a little bit of acidity there, but um, the kumquats, the fruit is really coming through big. It's really fleshy. It's like you took a kumquat and you like just squeezed it in your hands and smelled your hands. Like it's just fleshy and it smells, smells meaty and delicious. Not like meaty like meat like from an animal, but like the, the, the meat of the fruit, it just smells really, really good. I did not expect that at all. That's a very pleasant surprise. Yeah, it's, it's um, like I said, it's, it's really big on the fruit, but there's like an underlying kind of, um, I don't, it's, it's not a Flemish red, but I kind of get that vibe from it. It smells uh, like a little sugary, uh, kind of like a Flanders red kind of thing happening. Uh, I don't think that's what this is. I'm almost positive that's not what this is. But I just get like that note from under the fruit, which is nice because it works very, very well with, with the fruit in this beer. So, so far this is smelling great. We're off to a really good start. Let's uh, see what it tastes like. All right. Well, it seems that they have wrangled their bacteria because um, the acidity level in this beer is way toned down. Um, it's nice. It complements the beer rather than outshine the beer. Um, the fruit, it's coming through pretty big, um, but you get a nice multi um, presence in the beer. It finishes pretty damn dry, but you get the taste of a big, um, tongue coating kind of beer, uh, but in a very dry way, I guess you could say. Uh, I'm gonna go in for another taste. Yeah, um, like I said, this is made with kumquats, kumquats and tangerine zest. The tangerine, I think I was getting more on the aroma. Um, the, kumquat, the kumquat was like the, the fleshiness I was getting backed up with like a tangerine note. Um, but on the taste, uh, it's more of a kumquat thing, I think. It's, it's a sharper, um, acidic fruit character. Um, like I said, on top of that kind of malty backbone, I guess to sound cliche, uh, it just, it tastes really good. Um, and it's got just enough bite to hit you on the sides of your tongue and, you know, in your jaw right there, but it's not overwhelming at all. Overall, this is a great beer. Um, really, really fruit forward. Uh, nice big mouthfeel, finishes dry. It's refreshing overall. Uh, so hats off to the brewery. Once again, Sour in the Rye is usually a great beer. Uh, it's a good series of beers when they do different fruit additions and stuff. And that's one last beer in my cellar.